All right, we're going to watch Stephanie's above stroke butterfly. Um, again, we can see right at the very beginning she's not breathing there. So we're going to breathe a stroke. And then we're going to go another stroke with a breath. We want to make sure we're trying to breathe every other stroke. The other thing we can kind of see is we've got to get those arms up a little bit better. So as we exit the water right here, okay, you kind of see this palm is up really good. This palm is not fully out of the water. Make sure we get that arm up a little bit better. Okay, you can kind of see that your left hand is already out of the water. Your right hand is still under. Make sure your shoulders are even. Make sure those hands are coming palms up all the way through. Getting a good job of getting your head down. Right here is where we want that head going down, and you've got it down, and that's great. But we got to get our elbows and our shoulders just a little bit higher in that water so we're really not dragging. You can kind of see how you were just dragging those hands all the way through. But good hand entry all the way up top. Okay, you're really extending your arms all the way where you need to be. And that looks fantastic, Stephanie. Good job there. Also like your head position on your fly. You're not really lifting your whole body out to breathe. You're doing a good job of just lifting that chin. Right here you can see you've got your back a little bit above the water and that chin is just barely above the water. That's perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and go into your turn. As we hit that turn, we can tell that we took a breath at the very last stroke. We want to make sure we don't breathe on that very last stroke of the wall. You can see right here, we had a breath, and then here's our turn. All right, as you come off that wall, you do a good job of keeping your eyes focused on the wall, focus on that hand, a little high on your upper back. Make sure your shoulders are just barely above the water. You don't want to have quite here. You want to have more, really, just those shoulders above the water, and that's it. As we start to come off that wall, drop that one hand under, and you can see that your head's underwater and your hand's still above. You want to make sure that head is going underwater as that hand is coming to the ear. So don't quite that, don't quite let your head go underwater quite that quickly. Make sure that hand comes off that wall a little faster, okay? And then right away, first breath. Make sure you get that first stroke without a breath. Good job, Steph.